Reverend Father Philip Pokoy has, through extensive research and experimentation, been recording impressive yarn harvests for several years now, using what he could name Philoco method of yam cultivation. Massive tubers of yam which he harvested from his farm as is reaching the vicinity of the parish were displayed yesterday to the admiration of all present. According to the Reverend Father and Farmer, yam does well when cultivated under loose earth cross, which is achieved by digging pits and covering them up again with the soil just excavated from the pits. Father Okoye thanked God for using him to expand the horizon in yam production and charged everybody to get engaged in agriculture to combat hunger. He called on traditional rulers to encourage their communities to farm, insisting that importing yams into Ibo land for use during yam festivals is an aberration. The Reverend Father announced that his three years pilot project of cultivating off-season yam has paid off and enjoined people to commence another round of planting soon after harvest. What's the reason behind it? The reason behind it is that uh, we have a lot of rain like this, this period. And the young uh, production is releasing the rain. So instead of waiting for the, for, the rain, uh, for the rain, the first rain of the year, maybe by sometimes February, sometimes March, we can equally plant this time. So that uh, before, the, before the, rain, the rain season stops, the young must have. Uh, 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 gone a long way. Earlier during the Thanksgiving Mass to herald the produce exhibition and New Year ceremony, Peter Cardinal Opalek of a club of Catholic diocese charged the youth to use their talents and creative potentials to move the society forward. Cardinal Opalek, represented by the Chancellor of a club of diocese, very Reverend Father Lawrence Mwankwo, urged them to improve on farming implements by devising modern cultivation harvesting and storage methods to increase harvest and totally eradicate farming. Very important because what we see happening is we are comfortable with the way things are because they save us. They are functional. I can use the knife, I cut grass, I use the hoe. But when we start to think beyond functionality, to talk about efficiency, and effectiveness, we find out that yes, the hole serves the fun, it helps us dig, but then it's possible to have something better. And in that case, you are looking at efficiency, and it doesn't take it doesn't take it's not rocket science. What you need for that is apply some intelligence, observation, and then we are able to experiment. We mustn't have a very big mechanical workshop, but if we get that, wonderful. And But we can still do it. It's only that sometimes the emphasis of our education is much more on just theory. theory. And we have not really keyed into this philosophy of distinguishing between, or rather going beyond function and functionality to efficiency. Signature TV observed that the produce from each pit are in multiples of twos and threes of large yam tubers, which were carried into the exhibition arena on wooden stretcher by four hefty men, as no one man could leave them up alone. They were later sold out by auction to raise funds for the parish project. The event was witnessed by traditional rulers of Abu, Obeledu, Ibuku, and Omona, all in Anambra State. The parishioners and other guests from communities where Fadokoi had served before were treated to a meal of pounded yam and vegetable soup, as well as roast yam with red oil, oba, and otazi delicacies. Ndo, Apaleze, Signature TV News.